What is up, you beautiful people? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to Above Average. We got a good one for you today. We're talking Olympics, you know, in honor of the Olympics going on right now in Tokyo. We figured, eh, might as well talk about them. So, um, if you are new to the channel, if you like things, sports, all sports, we talk basketball, we talk UFC, hockey, please subscribe. Uh, you know, it helps this channel out quite a bit. And um, yeah, so with that being said, uh, let's let's get right into this. But uh, first and foremost, I just want to say that I have really no idea what I'm talking about. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the Quack. fuck I'm talking about. When it comes to the Olympics, like, I mean, I can kind of, you know, bullcrap my way through a conversation. But, um, you know, I don't watch table tennis. I don't watch water polo. I don't watch, you know, uh, the ones when they're in the water dancing. There's that water polo. See, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch a lot of these, but um, so I'm not really gonna talk about why it's happening. I'm just kind of got to speculate on what's going on, you know, because it's kind of not really my expertise. So um, yeah, but a lot has happened this Olympics, um, you know, uh, especially in Canada. It's been good Olympics for a lot of the Canadian athletes. So um, yeah, with that being said, let's let's just hop right into it. So straight out of the gate, this happened uh, just overnight. Team Canada defeats. Team USA and women's soccer um, to advance to the gold medal game. They'll play Sweden. This is awesome. They beat them 1-0. Um, Canada's kind of been snake bitten the last few times they've played uh, the States. And uh, I remember 2012, there was controversy with that game. Um, but hey, we did it. We persevere. We're strong. We're Canadian. That's that's the way we do it. Um, and uh, yeah, it worked out. I, I'm, I'm so happy about this. Um, you know, winning this, uh, you know, against the States, that ends a 36 game winless streak uh, against the Americans. So that's, I mean, that's music to my ears. I don't know what more uh, you could want as Canadian than beating, you know, our neighbors down south. Um, that, that's awesome. It's safe to say US's cap uh, captain, uh, Megan Rapino, um, wasn't happy about the loss saying, it's a bitter one to swallow. Obviously, we never want to lose to Canada. I don't think I've ever lost to Canada. So as you can see, I don't know if that's what she sounds like. I just felt like doing that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's that's also music to my ears. Obviously she had to say, I don't think I've ever lost to Canada. Well, you did now, so that is great. And um, yeah, so uh, it's it's been, it's about time. You know, obviously we've, we've competed with like Canada and US, I swear it's like, it's always been so close. It really shouldn't be a 36 game winless streak we, we had. Like that's that's terrible. Like we, we were so close so many times. So. Um, we finally did it. So hoorah. Um, shout out to Christine Sinclair, all you women, go get gold for us. Let's go. But um, yeah, also in the news, Heather Bansley and Brandi Wilkerson defeat the United States. Ooh, let's go, baby. We just beat them twice uh, to advance to the quarterfinals in women's beach volleyball. I'm um, not going to lie, I didn't watch this, but um, you know, they beat the States again. So I figured I'd talk about it. That is awesome. That is huge. You know, I, uh, they just smashed that ball and then sand and stuff. I just shook I have no idea, but they won. So um, they're they're going to the quarterfinals. So, you know, here's hoping, you know, maybe they get a medal there. That would be dope. I'd be so proud of them. And, you know, even though, you know, even if they don't get a medal, they beat the state. So I'm still really proud of you guys. But um, also this is huge. Penny Alexiak becomes the most decorated Canadian Olympian of all time at only the age of 21. Uh, she claimed her seventh uh, Olympic medal at the age of 21. Like, like I, that's just mind boggling to me. Like she's 21, she's probably gonna double that number. I wouldn't be surprised if she, you know, she's still got at least, I'd say, I don't know what the peak is, but if it's anything like hockey, I mean, she's she hasn't even entered her prime yet. So technically she could probably get like 10 or 12 more medals. So um, that is awesome. I'm, I'm so proud of Penny Alexiak and uh, she's sure making her family proud. I know her brother plays uh, in the NHL, just signed with the Seattle Kraken, Jamie, Le or, yeah, Jamie Alexiak. So, uh, that is awesome. And um, yeah, so shout out to all the women that are kind of just destroying right now in the Olympics. They've really been uh, holding the fort for Canada. Um, the men got to kind of step up their game. And uh, that's a good step. That's a good segue because the next guy we're talking about is Andre de Grasse. He placed third in the 100 meter sprint. He uh, with a personal best of 9.89 seconds. Yeah, so he got third. I mean, this was awesome. Andre de Grasse is kind of a stud. He's like, he's, he's really fast. It's cool to see um, just how fast these people are. Like I, I watched or I read something that his running speed's faster than Connor McDavid's skating speed. So that's, that just put in comparison, Connor McDavid's just ungodly fast and Andre de Grasse is faster than that. I know his top, uh, 
his, I think it was 40.9 kilometers. So he was like almost 41 kilometers an hour. It was like his top running speed. So good for him. That That's insane. Essentially, if he ran that fast in a school zone here in Canada, you would get pulled over. That's legit. He would, because that's he's exceeding the speed limit. But anyway, um, good for you, Andre DeGrasse. Get that bronze, baby. And I'm proud of that. So let's go. Um, but that's it for Canadians. Um, it's just been confirmed though, this is huge. Simone Biles, if you don't know who that is, she's one of the greatest uh, Olympic gymnasts, or no, not even Olympic gymnasts, just gymnasts of all time. She's a woman, and I wouldn't even say like greatest woman. She's not, like, I'm serious, like she's probably better than most of the men that compete in uh, gymna uh, gymnastics. Like it's, it's insane the stuff she does. Like uh, I don't even know how people comprehend doing flips in the air. But I mean, she does it better than anyone else. And essentially she took the first few events off, you know, to take um, care of her mental health, which I mean, good for her. Um, I can imagine of having the pressure of, you know, over you know, 200 million people on your shoulder, right? And uh, especially for the US. So she took time off to work on herself and um, you know, there's nothing wrong in doing that. And, uh, but she's coming back. She's gonna perform in the uh, balance beam or something like that, I think it was. Um, yeah, Simone Biles will participate in the balance beam final tomorrow. Um, yeah, so. Good for you, Simone, uh, welcome back. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how she does, you know, if this, you know, will take a toll on her, maybe it will, but I mean, the greats always persevere through the hardest of times. So I wouldn't be surprised if she got a medal or maybe even got gold. So let me know in the comments, what do you think she's gonna get? I don't know. But um, yeah, so good for you, Simone. Uh, welcome, welcome back and uh, yeah, let's see what you can do. <sighs> right on, wow, I'm talking fast. I need to take a break here. Mm. But, um, along with some of these really, really cool, fascinating stories. This kind of follows that. Um, this is one of the coolest stories I think that happened, um, you know, in recent Olympic uh, memory. I don't really remember anything so wholesome or compelling as this, but this was just awesome. Um, uh, so if you have a tissue, maybe grab it because stuff's about to get sad. Wait, 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 can you talk to me? Yes, I'm good. It's too tight. Uh, we can continue with the jump off. Can we have two gold? It's possible. It, it, it depends if you decide History, if you both decide on will be champion. So essentially, high jump athletes Jan Marco Tamberi. I don't know if that's how you say it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is. It's from Italy. He's from Italy, I should say. And Mutez Essa Barshim from Guitar mutually agreed to share gold after officials told them the high jump event was too tight. So. This was insane. I mean, this is the stuff, you know, I wish I'd seen more often because this, it just, I don't know, it just, uh, it was just so, so powerful and uh, it, it was really cool uh, to see that. You don't see them that, that often, but essentially, yeah, they shared, they shared the gold and, um, you know, the reactions were just priceless. I mean, you can't, like, it's, that stuff, it's just beautiful for, yeah, lack of better words, it was beautiful. It's just darn right beautiful. So um, that that is awesome, and uh, you love to see it. Hopefully, there's more moments like this about the Olympics. Uh, it was great to see, and uh, congrats to both those athletes. Um, you guys deserved it, and um, you know, as a matter of fact, like just congrats to all the athletes participating in this year's events. I can't imagine how harder it'd be not participating in front of fans. You know, they got these huge stadiums, and barely anyone's in them. So um, to all the Canadian athletes, to all all the athletes, but. You know, just know that we're thinking of you and we're sending our support to you guys and uh, we wish we could be cheering you, cheering you on through the final stretch of your races or whatever. But um, yeah, so that pretty well wraps up the video. I just want to talk about the, the medal count. As you can see, um, after day 10, Tokyo, the 2020 medal count, China. China. Is in first, China, I should say, China. Uh, with 29 gold, 17 silver, 16 bronze. United States. Second with 22 gold, 25 silver, and 17 bronze. Um, the United States does have more medals, but what they do is they, you know, whoever has more golds essentially is in first. In Japan. And they were kind of in first for a little bit there, but they've slowed down a little bit. So there we go. They got 17 golds and uh, six silver and 10 bronze, which is still really good. And as you can see, it goes down. And we got Canada in 14th. Hey, it's better than last. You know, we've got three golds, four silver, seven bronze. You know, I'll take it. That's nothing, nothing wrong with that. You guys are trying. And as I was told in elementary, trying is what matters. But yeah, so just wanted to do a quick little video for you guys summarizing, um, you know, this year's Olympics. Um, it's been great to watch. You love seeing it. Missed it. Um, it sucks no fans are there, but um, hey, 
it's all good. And uh, it's, you know, next Olympics, it'll, you know, there will definitely be fans. But um, yeah, so like I said at the beginning of the episode, if uh, you like sports, we're talking sports here, feel free to uh, leave a like, feel free to subscribe, it would help out the channel a lot. And um, yeah, uh, have a great rest of your day wherever you're watching this from. And um, yeah, that concludes this video. Take her easy, guys. See you in the next one.